as promised, here are my settings for until the end of the world on the M13 or the M9, of course. Line 6, M13, M9. I think I'm getting such good quality video here, you can even count the squares. But I will try to get this MIDI dumped out so that people can have the actual files. And by the way, I don't think it's close yet. I don't think I'm 100% there. So don't assume that these settings are correct for until the end of the world because you may have a different guitar. You may have a different amp. I was using the Axe FX modeling, amp modeling in the video. Um, so don't assume these parameters will work for you, but this will give you a head start. There's the tube drive. And if the tube drive doesn't work, try another drive. That's all I did. I just scrolled through all the different drives until I found one that was closest to the OD2. And then I after I chose it, then I adjusted the parameters to get to model the OD2, to get very close to it anyway. Now, the other way you could do it is turn the drive down on this and add another drive in series and try to model the OD2 with two drives. Sometimes the distortion or the drive type, the fuzz, so to speak, is different in every drive. And if you mix different fuzzes, you can actually combine and turn it into a, uh, into some, some uh, another fuzz. So in this case, I just tried to find the OD2 with one model, and it was the tube drive. So there's the um, uh, what it looks like. Okay, you've got that. Now, the delay, let's go to the delay next. Here's my modulated delay settings. There you go. Close enough. 432, 433, somewhere in there. Feedback, you can see. Three to five, five repeats or so the mix. Now, note, let me get this color, there we go. Note the mod speed. I found that 4 to 5 hertz is way up there. Um, I don't really like the uh, mod speed on the M13. It doesn't have a lot of range on the high end. It's very slow on the low end and you gotta move it way up there to get it on the high end. Now there we go this to work out. The screen's very uh, bright. There you go. Mod speed, see how it's highway up? That's 4 or 5 hertz when I compared it to my axe. Depth, I maybe the depth could go up a little bit, but I thought the depth was very sensitive. I wish they'd balance those out a little more and have the depth more, um, have a better range. The mix is good, the feedback works well, but the mod speed and depth are very sensitive. There we go, that works out a little better. Okay, so there, you can even count the squares. There you go, YouTube guitar tutorials in HD. <laughs> uh, you get to count every square on an M13. But I'll, again, try to give you the specific uh, Sussex file. Um, facial fuzz, let's move over. This is the second fuzz drive, okay. And again, it wasn't the same as my Axe FX. It still needs some tweaking, but I just thought the facial fuzz would work to give me that tone, and it did. So don't assume these are correct. Okay. Um, and see, the mids are boosted up there. It's still not as nasal as the rat on my uh, Axe FX. And I didn't even try all the different drives here. I should have tried more drives to see what was closer to the rat. I just landed on the facial fuzz and was in a hurry and thought that that would work and it worked pretty well. So again, don't assume the facial fuzz is the right one for the intro, solo, and outro. You can try the other ones and you might get a better result um, with one of the other drives. So experiment with them. Um, and then if we go over to the tube drive, let's show that one more time. This might be clear this time. There you go. There's the mids, the treble, there's the output. So this is a pretty good model for the Boss OD2 with the M13. And you can tweak it a little bit based on your setup and what your instruments are, etc. So there you go. Um, there's your until the end of the world, a quick one hour until the world settings um, for the Line 6 M13. On to other tutorials. Thanks. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I got on.